Good day. I am Maria Yufatima M. Wagan, and I'll present to you our study, Redesigning Waste Analysis and Characterization Study, or simply, Redesigning Wax. So, we have five different topics to be discussed. First is the introduction, followed by the methods, results and discussion, and conclusions. Without further ado, let's start. Solid waste. Everywhere we go, we can definitely see it. This is due to irresponsible waste disposal and lack of waste treatment. And it negatively impacts our environment, causing continuous harm to our public health. And yes, we cannot deny the fact that this is an unending issue in our environment. Now, to initiate action and solve this issue, we have laws here in the Philippines and we have this RA9003 or Ecological Solid Waste Management Act that provides a comprehensive solid waste management program that ensures proper segregation, collection, transport, storage, treatment and disposal of our solid waste. However, we still can see the problems in solid waste management everywhere we go. What's the problem? Yes, we have solid waste management programs that are in line with RA9003. But there are problems and challenges that these programs face. And one of these is the heterogeneity of the waste that's being generated, which makes the segregation becomes a very tedious work. Now, these tend to cut the allocated budget for waste collection and transportation in which these processes require high budget for maintenance and improvisation. Concerning this, a wax can be very beneficial to every municipality in implementing solid waste management programs. What is wax? It is a method that mainly collects the data that demonstrates the per capita and the total waste being generated. It also analyzes and assesses the components of the waste being generated. Moreover, it produces an information that helps in planning how to reduce the waste, implementing recycling programs, and conserve money and resources. But, some environmental planners find the current wax method to be lacking and problematic due to some factors such as consolidation of data, negligence of geographical data, and the validity period of wax. Therefore, the aim of this study is to determine the methods that must be added or changed in wax used by local government units, specifying the importance and change in the data gathered with the redesigned wax. So, we are down to the methods. Here, we analyzed different data regarding wax. And first, we identified the methods in the current wax as presented in Table 1. As you can see, the method is divided into three stages. The preparation and training, the actual waste characterization, and the data processing analysis. Let's discuss the first stage, preparation and training. The first stage consists of nine methods and a lot of strategies. We have preparation of needed inputs and resources, which includes the methods of identification of waste sources, defining sampling site, sample selection, selection of sampling days, selection and preparation of waste segregation site, preparation of waste collection and disposal plan, acquisition of materials and other resources, Orientation for cooperators and preparation for the data processing. The next step is the actual waste characterization, which focuses on providing comprehensive guidelines for the effective classification and measurement of various types of waste from sample waste generators. Lastly, the data processing and analysis stage where the gathered sample data are analyzed and explained thoroughly in solid waste management planning and the formulation of a 10-year projection plan. We can conclude that the presented box methods have provided precise and reliable statistics on the amount and characteristics of waste disposal and this became the baseline of improvement for more efficient methods that are suitable for the ranging condition of solid waste management of each city or municipality. 
Now, the next table that I will present shows the different methods of Municipal 10-Year Solid Waste Management Plan. The Municipality of Mamburao Occidental Mindoro 10-Year Solid Waste Management Plan utilized the method of conducting 3-day wax with the National Solid Waste Commission Technical Assistance. The Municipality of Mina Iloilo used the method of implementing segregated recyclable waste before collection and storage in material recovery facility. On the other hand, the Municipality of Maria Aurora, Aurora used engaging methods in addressing disposal problem to promote the participation of the whole community and ensure the protection of public health. So all of these methods presented can be used to modify and improve the wax to devise a more efficient strategies in reducing our waste, establishing recycling schemes, and conserving funds and services. The last set of methods that I will present are from wax-related studies. So the first study, in Malolo City, they used a method of creating three scenarios, wherein scenario one, um, utilizing of Urban Solid Waste Management or USWM without composting and recycling. Scenario number two, USWM with an operational MRCF or Material Recovery and Composting Facility. And scenario number three, USWM with operational MRCF and incorporated effects of public participation. Now, from all of those scenarios, it was revealed that the scenario 3 is the most effective, producing the least volume of generated waste, lowest percentage of unmanaged waste, and least volume and percentage of disposed waste. Moreover, the study in Baguio City determined the levels of waste generation and assessed the current diversion method of municipal solid waste. The results recommended an engineered sanitary landfill, a simulated GIS-based collection system, and an expanded recovery facility. Lastly, a study in Batad Iloilo assessed the different sources in socioeconomic areas on how well they were able to separate their wastes into biodegradable and non-biodegradable using a five-day wax. So the results showed that there is a need to include a basis for planning and implementing waste management activities of LGU on the vermicomposting project of the facility. So all of these presented related studies were used as a guide in modifying the wax for its improvement in presenting the gathered data. So based on all of the materials presented, here are the suggested methods for the improvement of wax method. In household sample determination, barangay is considered as a general sampling area. Well, we can consider a more specific sampling area by considering sitios or buroks in every barangay for more specific and relevant data for the analysis. Next, volume and composition are considered as physical properties of waste for the analysis and characterization. Well, here, we can add more physical properties such as calorific value and moisture content. Since wastes have this heterogeneous structure, more physical properties should be determined for a proper waste management. Osgan H.K. et al. in Turkey established that calorific value and moisture content play a vital role in determining a proper and suitable waste management. For example, they were able to conclude that their wastes are suitable for waste combustion. So this led them to increase the rate in waste recovery so that they can lead to a declining rate in waste combustion. There are three summary tables at the end of box 1. So since we suggested to have a sampling area in Porox or Citrus, we should also provide summary table for them in order to analyze the data and identify which specific area produces the most waste. So in this case, we can have an implementing programs for that specifying area. Five years validity period of box data and result. Shorten it to one to two years only, depending on the size and population of the area. 
In this case, we can ensure the effectiveness of the solid waste management plan in that area and we can assess and identify the areas of improvement. Presented also are additional methods. Number one, before conducting wax, we should conduct a preliminary assessment of an area with regard to the existing programs regarding solid waste management. In this case, we can be able to determine if these existing programs contribute to the waste reduction and waste management of that area. For example, in Maria Aurora, they have this Yes Segregation, Yes Collection Program. Number two, we can also adopt the USWM with operational MRCF and incorporated effects of public participation because this is highly recommended in every municipality as one of the strategies in solid waste management program. All in all, the methods that were added in WAX method are the following. Number one, the additional of more specific sampling areas such as porox and sitios. Number two, additional of physical properties such as moisture content and calorific value. Number three, the additional of summary table for citrus and porox. Number four, the conducting of preliminary assessment before the conducting of wax. And number five, the utilization of USWM with an operational MRCF and incorporated effects of public participation. Based on the changes made, a more comprehensive data will be generated due to the additional properties of waste and specific sampling site or areas. By adopting suggested methods, data will now reflect the improved ways of the residents towards solid waste management. So that concludes our study, Redesigning Waste Analysis and Characterization Study, or simply Redesigning WACS.